Hi. Um, what we're going to look at today is how to uh, define names on the Mac and how to find the list of definitions of those names after you've done so. So, um, first of all, we're looking here at a worksheet, and what I've done is to set up some name definitions. Now, just to show you how it's done, I'll do another one. Um, suppose I select cell A3, and I want to give it a name. Maybe I'll call it example. Um, then all I do while it's selected is type the name and then press return. Okay, and now cell A3 is named example. So for example, so to speak, let's give it a value. Um, and suppose down here, I want to write a formula and I'll say this cell equals example plus one. Okay, and I could have also done that by saying equals, click on example, and maybe this one will be plus three. Okay. Uh, you can also define a range in a very similar way. So here, um, I use my variable root. Over here, I set up some formulas. So I have this cell equal to root. This one is B1 times root. And then what I did was just copy this formula down, so I got a list of powers, and you can see it's using relative addressing, so it's changing it each time to be the cell above times the root. And then what I did was to select this whole range, and I named it powers. Okay, now suppose I want to look up my set of names um, for some reason. Well, the way I do that is to go to the Insert menu, and um, under Name, I'll choose Define. Okay, and here you can see, uh, these are the names I have defined, and for example, if I choose Powers, this shows me the definition of the range Powers, so it's on Sheet 1, and using Absolute Addressing, it goes from B1 to B11. Okay, so um, by knowing where this is, it gives you the, the ability to work with names um, and being able to look up your definitions. Once you get a lot of names, that's very important. Okay, thanks.